can't believe that Jalen's Evil is finally home with us here in Las Vegas. And we are super, super excited. I know you guys have been waiting for a while now to see when the Evil is gonna come down. After being here about six months, we waited about three weeks to get the car here, and finally, she is home. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We can finally start vlogging, doing some evil content. I know this is what you guys have been waiting for. I honestly didn't want to bring this up, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys know there is actually a bad news of what happened to the evil when the car was getting shipped. So let me explain. So the car got shipped out in Hawaii three weeks ago. It landed in Long Beach last week, Monday. Called a company to truck the car to the house and it was supposed to come on monday but ended up showing about two days early so i rushed home kind of went through the car on the back side the car was actually parked in front of the garage door so i never really went to the front so as soon as the trucker left i came right on the front and there is damage on the hood slight scratches on the bumper which is not a big deal but it's just a sucky sucky feeling like that's the last thing i seen when coming up in front of the car is that right there it's pretty it's pretty bummer actually but everything else on the car looks fine besides the damage on that hood right away i called the company let them know hey i just got the car but there's a, there's damages on the hood i ended up taking pictures sending it to them they're gonna figure out what had happened it either happened during loading on the trucking or happened during transportation obviously this is not really expected this is actually the first time we had a trucking company deliver the car to the house and it's just a sad experience and of course this hood is aluminum most likely it can be repaired unless it, it is possible but i rather just have this hood replaced already i shared it with Jalen. she's really bummed too about it as soon as we figure out what the company is gonna do the issue is gonna get resolved regardless but damn i am super excited car is finally here Jalen already took the car around the block so she already drove the car i drove the car car is nice and super clean as always so shout out to my in-laws for getting the car all cleaned up for us before getting it shipped down here. And of course, later down in the future, we need to get the car retuned because we're in a different state, different altitude, it's not the same. So I really, really don't wanna push the car too much. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the car retuned right away. But first thing I really, really wanna do is to lower the car. The car does have True Hearts coilovers, Street Plus. Let's go ahead and pop up the bumper because I'm gonna do stuff on the headlights because it's a little faded. And we can go ahead and adjust the height where we wanted to. Excited to see the car low again. Jalen already blew a pipe already. Right off the bat. Notice that. She just wants the booster ready. I say we can go about just a little bit, maybe like a quarter inch lower. I think it will look really nice just to cover a little bit of the gap. I don't want to go too crazy and then we can match up the rear. And I didn't really tell you guys why we trucked the car in the first place is because if you look here on the production date of the tire, you can see is first two digits is month, last two digits is year. This tire is 10 plus years old. Sidewalls is a little bit cracked along with the threads and that's the reason why I didn't want to drive the car four hours and a half 
from Long Beach to Las Vegas because the last thing I want to do is have one of these tires blew out and get stuck. Got the front end height all dialed in. You guys just saw earlier, I went to go ahead and shake the wheel because I found it a little off. That's why when I was adjusting the height on the coilovers, ended up finding out that the wheel bearing is a little bit shot. That will be on the list. Let's go ahead and reverse the car so we can get the rear end all jacked up and then, then also get them dialed in too. Rear end height is all dialed in. Actually really perfect where I wanted it to be. We had the same height like how it was back home. So we're keeping it this way. Everything measured out really good on the front and the rear. So it's all perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and torque the wheels down and we can go shoot the cruise around the block. See how it really feels, which obviously is gonna feel good. Car feels good. Now let's go ahead and clean this car. After we wash the car, I do want to take care of the headlights. Like I said, it is a little faded. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this car washed up all nice and cleaned up, especially with the bumper over there. And then we can go ahead and do the headlights. It was all nice and clean up. Now we can go ahead and do the headlights. We'll go ahead and pop the hood. What we're gonna be using to restore the headlights is Cerico ceramic coating headlights. I always wanted to try this before. In Hawaii, we don't even have this. Here in Vegas, they have it stock at Walmart. I usually use some rubbing compound like the 3M and buffing pads, but my pads are at the shop and I couldn't find any 3M compound here locally. Let's open up and see what they have inside. So first we're gonna use some oxidation removal. Second, we're gonna be using 
the prep surface. They do have a couple of the sanding pads in here. Last we gotta use is the clear coating. They do come with gloves, which is really nice. I'm very, very excited to see what the result is using the Cerakote product. I thought I had tape so I can go ahead and mask off the fender so that way we don't get the oxidation chemicals on top of the paint. So I'll just be very, very careful. Go ahead and open another package. Keep wiping it until it's all gone. <music> Okay, step one is all finished. Rinse it off with water, wipe it down. Now you can see that the headlight lens is starting to get cloudy. Next, we are gonna go use the sandpaper. The lens on the headlights is not really too bad, so I'm just gonna go with the highest number, 3000 grit sandpaper. That should be good enough. Gonna go ahead and spray some water on top on the pad and on the headlight and get two sanding. Okay, sandy prep is all done. Now we can go ahead and use the clear white and apply it to the lens, and it's gonna look all nice and new again. Passenger side is all finished up and you can just tell the difference right there. Looks absolutely amazing. Come here at the driver's side. It's not too bad, but it can be better. Let's go ahead and knock the driver's side. Evil looks really really nice of course in the garage so very hype we lowered down the car restored the headlights today was a good day other than I gotta keep looking at this hood now but we are gonna get that resolved so I'm not too worried about it forgot to mention that after you apply the clear wipe on the headlights you gotta let it dry for an hour I just ended up putting the bumper making sure the bumper doesn't touch the headlight so it looks really really good there's so much to do on this car that I'm really excited now that we have the car here and honestly it is actually perfect that the rain came down so i'm gonna go ahead and close the garage there is a little thing on the trunk that i want to take care of we do have a pdr guy at the shop get the trunk all straightened up i really want a jdm bumper i do want to change the exhaust system change the performances before we get the car retuned of course this trim piece here on the roof area 
is coming off. Of course, we gotta replace the passenger wheel bearing. We gotta do the calipers because they're all faded all around. Brakes, rotors, tires, of course. The list goes on and on. Of course, you gotta do the alignment as well. I will go ahead and get that done when I work at the shop this week so I can get that taken care of. I am gonna go ahead and wrap the video of the day. I hope you guys enjoy. I know you guys were all waiting for Evo content and I'm very happy that we get to do our first vlog video here on Las Vegas, the ninth island of the Evo build. For my Evo, we're probably not gonna get the car till like sometime next year because of course, I'm paying for the house and everything, bills. That's how life is, but we're just gonna take it one step at a time. And it will be here eventually, but for now, we can go ahead and enjoy doing projects on Jalen's car. Hopefully, we'll find something to do on this car this coming weekend. If not, just stay tuned on the next video. Hello guys, I'll see you guys at the next one.